Hey guys, we are back with another interview problem that is print all permutations of a string. Okay, so we have given a string and we have to print all the permutations. Okay, so permutation of a string is another string which uses the same number of characters but in different order. Okay, so for example, if we take um, the string ABC, the ACB, BAC, BCAC, BA, and CAB, right? So you can see that all these different, all these strings using the same characters, but the order is different. Okay, so all these strings are permutations of each other. Okay, so yeah, that's the objective. We have to print all the permutations of a string. So let's see how we are going to solve this problem. We are going to use recursion to solve this problem. Okay, because iterative solution are uh, gonna be quite tricky and we'll see the power of recursion um, in the solution. So let's say we have given a string ABC, okay? So first thing what we will do is we'll we'll have a pointer called, let's say it's called left pointer, okay? And currently it's pointing to A, okay? And then we have another pointer, let's say it is called I, okay? So what we are going to do, we are going to swap the characters uh, at left and I index, okay? So currently, uh, both left and I are pointing to A. So we'll swap and it's going to be ABC. Okay. Then we'll move the uh, I pointer to the next index, which is B. So now I is here. Now we'll swap the left and I. So now the string would be B, A, C because we have swapped A and B. Now move the I pointer to the next index, which is here. Now <coughs> swap left and I. So that is C, B, A. Right? So again, we'll have two pointers left and i and we'll keep moving the i towards right and we'll fix the left pointer at this point to the first index okay and we'll keep swapping the left and i so we'll get abc bac and cab okay so once this is first round is done we'll move the left pointer to the next index which is b so here the left is pointing here 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 okay now again we'll take the i pointer from here so here is my i so we'll swap left and i so it's going to be same a b c and then move the i here and then swap b and c so this will give a c b similarly here we'll this is i here so this will give b a c and b c a so b c a and here it will give c b a and c a b c a b right now the second round is done and again we'll move the left pointer to the next index which is here so now the left is here here okay now once left reaches to the last index we'll stop this okay and print the string again once left pointer reaches to the last index okay we'll stop this operation and print the string 
so which is abc acb bac bca cba and cab so these are the permutations right so yeah this is how we are going to solve this now let's see how we are going to implement this okay so as we said we are going to implement this using recursion so uh, let's say our recursive function is uh, permutation right it will take a string which is uh, um, input a string and it will take the left pointer left so each time this function is called we have a left pointer so initially what would the what would be the left pointer the left is equal to zero that means we are starting from zero with index right and in the function we'll swap uh, the left and i and as soon as we do the swap we'll make recursive call right and this is input and uh, now we'll move the left index to the next one so that is left plus one right so this is our recursive function and what is the base condition so the base condition would be when we'll stop the recursion right so uh, when the left pointer reaches to the last index that means once left is equal to input dot length minus one that means it is at the last index print it okay so let's go back and uh, see uh, read the approach take one character at a time fix it fix it at the first position you swap to put every character at the first position okay so here the a is at the first position here b is at the first position here c is at the first position so we are swapping with a and b and a and c make a recursive call to rest of the characters so once we are here the left is here right so we'll make a recursive call to rest of the string how by moving the left pointer So I have to revert the string back to its original form for next iteration. Okay, now this is important. This is um, backtracking. Uh, we have uh, a video where we discussed about backtracking in detail. I leave the link in the description of this video. You can refer that. So this important. This step is very important. So here we are modifying the string, right? We are like uh, swapping. A and B, so it becomes B, B A C, right? But to get to C A B, we need to get back to the original string, right? And how we'll do that? We'll we'll use the backtracking. So let's look at the code to understand this better. So yeah, this is our uh, driver function. So this is the input string A B C and we are converting the string to the character array so that uh, we can do the swapping of characters easily and this is our uh, this is our recursive function uh, so let's look at the function so yeah it takes the character array the left pointer and the size size is nothing but the size of the um, character array okay and initially the left pointer points to the zeroth index the left pointer points to the zeroth index which is a okay and yeah this is the base case and uh, we'll come back to that in a bit and we have a util function called swap and this function swaps the character at ith and jth index in the character array and here uh, there is a for loop where x goes from left to the and right so x is nothing but i which is our 
uh, another pointer, right? So we uh, we swap the character at the uh, left and ith index. So here x is i, okay? And we call this swap function with x left and x, right? So we'll do the swapping. And here we make the recursive call. And in the recursive call, we move the left, left pointer to the next character, right? So from here, when we go here, we move the left pointer to the next index, right? And um, then now this is backtracking, right? This is backtracking. So again, we are swapping the left and X. So what we are doing, we are swapping A and B, right? So that becomes B and A, make a recursive call and the swap again left and uh, X. So that will become A and B. So let's understand the backtracking um, in this example. So we have um, A, B, C, and let's say when uh, we swapped A and B and got B, A, C, right? And again, we did the swapping with A and C and we got B, C, A, right? Now the left is here. So the base condition is uh, when the left reaches to the last index, we'll print the character array, right? So once left, reaches to the last index, we'll print the array, which is BAC, right? Now, uh, we'll not make any recursive call, right? So it will come back here, and now we are swapping the left and X again. So why we are doing that? So that we can get back the string to its original form. So we'll backtrack, right? We'll backtrack and we'll get, we'll swap C and A, we'll get BAC. And then we'll backtrack again. That means we'll swap B and A to get A, B, C, right? Now we'll get A, B, C, and then recursion will do here, swapping A and C to get C, B, A. Okay, so now let's run this code. So we have uh, A, B, C string. And uh, yeah, this is the output. And let's say we have A, B, C, D. Um, then, yeah, these many permutations. So now let's discuss the total number of permutations possible for a string. Um, so let's say we have a string A, B, C, just like three different characters. So uh, we have three choices, right, to pick the first character, right? We can pick A, B, or C, right? Now, once we pick the first one, now we have to pick the second character. So we have already picked one character. So let's say we have picked A, right? Now we have to pick one character between B and C. So there are two choices. You can pick either B or C. And for the last one, you have only one choice, the remaining characters. So that is six permutations possible for a string, which has three different characters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Similarly, let's say if you have A, B, C, D. So the number of permutations possible, four into three into two into one, which is six, four, 24, right? And... Uh, what if, if um, there are duplicate characters like A, B, A, D? So it will be 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 2 because we have duplicate characters. So that is 12. It's a different mathematics problem um, where we um, determine the total number of permutations possible for a given string and uh, we'll We'll discuss that problem in a separate video. Uh, yeah, so this is how we are going to solve this problem. Print all permutations of a string. Now we can mark this problem as completed. 
and please visit our website tutorialhorizon.com for more interesting problems we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye